Okay, now we'll look at question 18 in topic set 7. This is a question about electron configuration, comparing particularly the ground state versus the excited state configuration. You're given several electron configurations, and you're asked which of these correspond to an excited state. And then, additionally, how many unpaired electrons are present in each of these species. Okay, so let's think about the first part of the question, which is which of these corresponds to an excited state. Now, you can figure out whether the electron configuration configuration is an excited state or not based on comparing it to the ground state configuration. So if you remember in class, what we learned is how to write or draw the ground state electron configuration. So to answer these questions, then we're going to need to do three steps, right? First, we need to look at each of the configuration and just count how many electrons we have. And then second, we're going to need to write the ground state electron configuration. Once we write the electron configuration of the the ground state, we can then compare it versus the written or the given electron configuration and see if it matches or not. If it doesn't match, then that must be excited state. If it matches the ground state configuration that we draw out, then that's ground state. So let's start with A. If you count the number of electrons, we have in this case 2, 2, and 1. So that adds up to 5 electrons altogether. So 5 electrons. So the ground state configuration of a 5 electron species or an atom in this case would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. Okay, if we look at the configuration they give us, it says 1s2, 2s2, 3p1. Okay, and so that clearly is not what we have here as the ground state. So therefore, the one that's given to us is an excited state. And we can see that because it should have been at 2p, but they add some energy to move it up all the way to 3p1. And then the other question, what's the atom that you have here? Well, a five electron uh, species would then correspond to boron, right? If you look it up in the periodic table. And then the ground state electron configuration we already uh, have written out. And then how many unpaired electrons are present in each species? This is best uh, shown if you were to write out those box diagram for the electron configuration. So for boron, it would look like that. Um, in this case, they give us 3p1. So it would be 1s, 2s, and 3p. So they're referring to the actual species that you have here. So in that case, that would have one unpaired electron. For B, we have 10 different electrons, right? We got two, two, and then six, okay? What is the ground state electron configuration of something with 10 electrons? Well, it'll be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. And we compare this to the one that's given to us, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So it's the same exact thing. So that means that what's given to us is not excited state, but it is ground state. And then what element has 10 electrons? electrons in them. Now you go back to the periodic table and look, and that would be neon. And how many unpaired electrons? The way they've written out the configurations, no unpaired electron. In All right, go to C now. With C, we have two, two, four, and one. Okay, nine different electrons, and the configuration of something with nine electrons would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p5. That's the ground state configuration. We compare that to the one that they give us, which is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, and 3s1. So clearly what they gave us here doesn't match what we just did for the ground state. So this would be an excited state configuration. And then what atom is this? Well, this must be something with nine electrons that would correspond to fluorine. And then looking at the configuration that they give us, how many unpaired electrons does it have? Well, the 1s is this, the 2s is this, the 2p4 would look like that, and then the 3s1 would look like that. So therefore, in this case, we have three unpaired electrons. The last question is uh, something that has 26 electrons. This is because we have AR, which is 18 electrons, and then we have 2, 5, and 1, which is another 8 electron. If you want to do an electron configuration, the ground state would be argon, and then 4s2 and 3d6. Okay, so that will be 26. Now what they gave us is AR, 4s2, 3d5, and 4p1. So clearly what they give us is not the same as the ground state configuration. So this must be another excited state configuration of that particular atom. And so what atom has 26 electrons in them? Going to the periodic table tells us that this is iron or Fe. And how many unpaired electrons are in here? We're going to have to draw out this. We can still keep the AR together. And then we have 4s2 and then 3d5. 
So that means each of the um, 3d orbital will have one electron and then 4p1. Well, p has three orbital, but only one is filled right now. So in total, this one has six unpaired electron. Okay? And that's an excited state configuration. All right.